nearly 24 hours later, a massive fire at the port of L.A. still smoldering, prompting serious air quality concerns. Good evening, I'm Micah Olman. And I'm Cher Calvin. Tonight, fire crews are still working to completely extinguish the dangerous dock fire at the port of Los Angeles. Also tonight, parents want answers as to why the LAUSD delayed the evacuation of local schools after fire released toxic fumes in the area. KTLA 5's Casey Montoya is live tonight in Wilmington. Casey. Yeah, many parents pretty upset that the school opened at all today. And this fire that's burning behind me, well, it's out now, according to fire officials, but still smoldering nearly 24 hours after it started. Wearing masks and covering their faces, students at George De La Torre Elementary School in Wilmington were sent home early Tuesday. Potentially hazardous smoke from the fire still smoldering at the Port of Los Angeles, prompting the evacuation. St. Peter and Paul School also shut down for the day. We have to get all the final hot spots before we can declare a 100% knockdown. The stubborn four-alarm fire started just before 7 Monday evening. It took 150 firefighters about an hour and a half to contain, fighting the flames from the ground and water. It's still a lot of smoldering hot spots to deal with. That After more than 12 hours, this was the view from Sky 5. Thick smoke could be seen for miles. Fire officials say it's been a difficult battle because of what's burning. Heavy layers of timber covered in a wood preservative called creosote. When it burns, it can create fumes and other chemicals when it burns. So one of those things is naphthalene. And we, again, we found some high levels in the warehouse uh, where the fire was, and then we're trying to track those into the community where they have been elevated. White mounds of firefighting foam coating the water, creating a mess. The poor air quality causing seven businesses in the area to stay closed for the day and slowing operations at the port. This port is an engine for Southern California and this nation, and its operations are critically important. Thick smoke plumes also shutting down operations at three cargo terminals at the port of Long Beach. Officials urging others in the San Pedro Wilmington area to stay inside, turn off air conditioners, and keep windows closed as they continue to monitor the air quality. Now we're told those air advisories will only be in place for 24 hours. No injuries have been reported. Several complaints, though, of uh, people uh, reporting things from this bad air quality. Now, operations just getting back to normal. A lot of activity behind us now as all ports have reopened, except, of course, the port where this fire started. Now, we are also told that the next step will be to clean up the mess, and the city has hired a private company who will start doing that very soon.